What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. Your boy, Stanley. I'm so sorry. We had, we did this on the Empire Review. We apologize yeah. for last night. I will honestly tell you guys that we were not in a mental headspace to do these reviews last night. Nah. And um, y'all know that I'm half crazy, right? <laughs> no. She all the way crazy. No half. On here, I'm half crazy, but in real life, I'm all, all the, the way, way crazy. And yesterday, my crazy was at a level that I knew yeah, when it was it time to shut through. down. It would all came through. So on I me. did, and I shut down last night. So, therefore, I can give you a, a clear minded um, review tonight. As best as we can, because it kind of came through a little bit of empire. <laughs> it did, yeah, it it did came through, through empire. empire. Yeah. Um, I want to say a major shout out to um, Rita Boo. She saw me today in the grocery store and she didn't come and see me. She hit me up on Twitter and she was like, Lynette, did I just see you in Martin's? And I was like, heck yeah, you just saw me in Martin's. I was she like, you ain't even. She's on IG. Yeah, hit me on IG. And I was like, oh God. So if any of you all are ever in the Richmond area and you, you see, see me, holler at yeah, a player. Or you see a player, walk on it. Now, I'm, if, you walk have, yeah, if you walk up and you say, hey, you Stanley, you that, we're going to be like, who asking? Who asking? Yeah, you know, we, yeah. Fans? Yeah, so we're going to be careful now because not everybody want to know you because they want to, you know, greet you and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, if you know I may have a mean disposition if you ever see me. I do have the permanent mm face, but I'm very nice. Y'all know that. So <laughs> what's up, Readable? I told y'all I was going to do this tonight. Yes, indeed. Also, I could not wait to watch Queen Sugar because... I don't watch reviews until I do my own review. Yeah. So all day long, I've been <laughs> fighting the urge to watch reviews. Because I think that if you watch a review before you do your own, subconsciously, the other people's opinions, opinions will, might rub off will, on you and come through your yeah. video. So yeah. then you'll start to already go in with the mindset or whatever. So I can't wait. I cannot uh, wait to see what everybody else has to say. But, but this, this was a good episode right here. Especially was, towards the end. It was excellent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they touching on some, some very sensitive issues. And I'm ready and to talk. Are, that is going on right now. So perfect timing. All right, so it was called So Far. So Far. We start off with Kiki and Micah. Micah over at Kiki's... Um, the practice her, her little practice rehearsal i said oh she got his nose wide uh -huh. open he was watching all them moves and all that kind of stuff and yeah yeah his mind won't she won't in his mind she won't rehearse it mm -mm, he she was doing won't. all that stuff on him <laughs> so um she said look i'll come through and advise later but this ain't gonna be no netflix and chill so uh get it out your mind i said kiki <laughs> whatever and then we see Nova and Shanta all day over at the house. They having some after sex breakfast mm -hmm. cooking situation. I said, wait, going a minute, on. wait a minute, wait a minute. Shantal, she mooned me. I was uh -huh. like <laughs> I was like, okay, what's really happening here? But Nova has a great opportunity to speak about police brutality and the mm -hmm. ninth and all of that stuff. So Shantal is, you know, interjecting her you know how Chantel do. Mm -hmm. She's um interjecting and doing yeah, this, trying and doing to take that. over. And you can tell right after because you know Nova is a control freak. Mm -hmm. She don't want no parts of what Chantel has to say. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, she said, "Go ahead and sit down in that chair, and we need to eat this, this while breakfast. it's still hot." I don't think she was talking about that breakfast. I, I think she been. was talking about downtown. But let me get on you real quick, Chantal. What you're not going to do is sit on my chairs with your booty cheeks out. Oh, no one was there for that. She off. You not lose. You're not going to have your yeah. booty juice on my chair. I mean, that's what she there for. No, they do that in the bed. I don't want it on. This is my kitchen. I don't want booty juice on my chairs. Somebody right. else has to come and sit there after that. I, I, I might come and sit I, there after I, I that. I'll get ready to say something. You better there. not say I, yeah, that. We uh -huh. live alone. Yeah, yeah. God darn it. Ain't nobody here but us. Hey, I got Jorge. They know about Jorge. I got Jorge right there and I can give him a cow. Matter of fact, I can send him a I, ain't, I haven't seen him since I the election. Him, yeah, I can. They better not mess with my dude. They better not mess with my dude. I ain't seen him since the God doing election. They better not mess with my dude. But anyway, that's that was basically um it for that. We have Ralph calling Charlie. He was like, look, we got a situation over no, here. Long story short. Here. 
the workers ain't coming back. And I am. I ain't mad. blame. I wouldn't have showed back up. I mean, just think about it. <laughs> yeah. Just think about it. If somebody got killed on your job today, I are you going back tomorrow? Yeah, eventually you might go back, but you ain't going back tomorrow because first thing you thinking, they still is, out is there. That motherfucker gonna come back and shoot some more of us. <laughs> I would have went to the doctor and got me a note, be like, I'm crazy as hell right no, now. I don't need no note. I would got on my phone and text my boss and say, Hey, such and such, um, I ain't coming to work today. Might not be there tomorrow, not even next week because I'm afraid I'm gonna get killed at two. <laughs> then if I can bring some protection, I'll come. But if not. I ain't coming. Mm-mm. So we see a scene where there was Dollar and Aunt Vi. Ralph and Andrew's really messing up with this because this yeah. could go a whole lot better if he, he would just communicate. communicate. He got Dollar coming over there to take Blue to school and I give it to Dollar. I still don't trust her because you, you got to walk this thing out. But so far, she walking it out a little bit. Yeah. She been picking Blue she up. She been doing it for two days. Two days, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. But... Ralph Angel has never told Aunt Vi that Dollar's doing this. She come over there to take Blue to school. She over there to take Blue to school. Yeah. And now they having a face off about it. She said, you, I, you don't waste your gas coming over here because I take some to school. He said, uh, uh, Aunt Vi. Aunt Vi, I'm sorry. What? I, have, did y'all notice that his <laughs> accent was super over the top in this episode? <laughs> I can't talk because I have one too, but God darn. It's outside. I didn't tell you about but uh, Dollar gonna take blue to school. He can say that yeah. blue. Blue to school. <laughs> <laughs> so we got um, Unvashi out in her garden. She's starting over. She says she don't want no African violence no more. Yeah, she want to plant some Africa. weed plants. That's what she want to plant. She want to do something that. different. I said Hollywood gonna wear her down, and eventually mm -hmm. at the end of this episode, we gonna see that he did. He did. He like said, "Like Steve look, Urkel said, I'm wearing you down, baby." He said, "Look, uh, um, Violet, we we don't have but so many days, and I'm trying to spend them with you. We need to just not yeah, waste time. Yeah, we need time right here." I said, "I, I agree." Charlie gets a goddamn telephone call from the school that she's trying to send Michael to. The we dick pic don't came up mm -hmm. basically, and it's gonna follow him as long as he in that freaking private school system. It's going to follow him. Yeah, so now the school wants to have a sit-down interview with Mama and Daddy. And Aunt Vi immediately tells um, Charlie, look, why are you mad? Because they got to have a talk with Mama and Daddy. Um, Davis is the boy's daddy. I said, this going to come this back. going to come back. you. Because uh, Ralph Ranger did. was like, mm-hmm. I said, okay. So they get to talking, and um, at some point, we're going to skip around a little bit. That dad on Micah finds out about the freaking phone call. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, at this point, I'll go to public school. And I said, I'm here for yeah. it. He can it's go to, school. Um, what was it, um, St. Joe's? Um, yeah, St. Joe's. He yeah, can go. said no one went there and she fine. And Charlie was like, no, mm -hmm. I want him to be in private school. She was like, I was like, look, why do you want to spend $10,000 $10, on a school that don't want you? Yeah. And Micah was like, no, try thirty six thousand dollars i was I like said, woo advice said people don't mm -hmm. make that in a year i say i know i don't make that and here she throw this slur i thought she would get smacked the hell out of and she said that's exactly, exactly why, why i'm sending him to so he won't be like i said oh you don't do that you don't do that you don't do that i said oh. you keep that in your dome okay you don't kick it. No. Nope. I know my aunt would have slapped the skit out of, out of me. Hashtag slap Stanley. That's what it would have been. <laughs> but I will say this. Let me interject this while it's on my dome. Don't throw it on out there. Why is it that us, black people, we're going to talk to y'all tonight. Why is it that we insist on spending our money in places that don't like us? Yeah, we do that. That don't accept us. Do not speak to you when you walk through the door. Mm -hmm. but yeah, if you show me that you don't want me to be a present in your establishment, you ain't got to worry about me spending all my money. again. Let's give you an example. Bed Bath & Beyond. We haven't been there in like over 10 years. Right. Mm -hmm. For something they did to us. Yeah. And we went in Bed Bath & Beyond every weekend. Yeah, every If y'all follow us on our vlog channel, y'all know we spend a whole lot of freaking money for no reason. <laughs> it's true. Pray for yeah, we trying to reel it on in though. But we, 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 yeah, we, we trying, trying to, to realign. But yeah. Yes. So 
So stop spending money in establishments that do not want you. Exactly. Take your money somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Build our community. All right. I'm going to move off of that for now. Dude comes over to Nova's house and he said, hey, Nova, just want to let you know. What, is he the only dude that communicates? Is he yeah. like is he like the dove in the middle of the of the flood? No, he's like the cool thug that keep you informed of what's going on in the streets. <laughs> That's what he is, you know. He comes I appreciate over, that though. I do. I appreciate he comes that. over and he tells Nova, look, I know I know you just got too sweet out of the jail. But his family don't got evicted, y'all. Yeah. And now they took him over there to that shelter and he done flipped out. He done out. flipped out because he feel like he's good. <laughs> that cat, that cat in his mind, he's still locked up. He said, I'm going to let you know. Let you know. Keep an eye out on your boy. Yeah. Out in these streets. You know, because you, you know, he ain't say this, but she done put $50,000 down on him. You better find it. Was it I think it was 10. Was it 10? No, 10000 What was it, 50? Well, it was a lot of money. I'm going to say that. Whatever. Yeah, it was a lot of money. I got a whole lot of money. So now we Come see Charlie. Come for me. Hmm. Charlie over there at the mill. These chokers want to do a 60-40 split. 64. Just to freaking refine some sugar? Yeah. I'm like, first of all, I'm planting it. I'm watering it. I'm taking care of it. I'm harvesting it and you want 40%. bringing it to you and you want 40% of the work and the labor that I don't put into this. I said something ain't right about this. She was like, I'm a freaking soup manager for the for the basketball team and I only get five. I, I said, darn. At least she do get less than Jesus do. <laughs> so um dude goes ahead and he takes her on this tour of the mill or whatever. She seems to be impressed and he seems to be impressed with her. Her, yeah. I said, is he got a little thing thing for her? And I said, why is she going to these places by for herself? I was like, where why is Remy and, and where is Remy? Why yeah, are they going to have a clue her? what's going on? So I was like, okay, I ain't feeling this, but you go ahead and talk the talk, but don't you sign no papers and don't make no commitments. Yeah. Or whatever. So we'll, we'll get on that a little later on. So over at the High Yellow, we come to find out that them jokers is shut down for a little while mm -hmm. because the health inspector is in. Yep. And, and the freaking dude, Claude is losing his mind. Clyde. Clyde, yeah. Clyde is losing his mind. Because he, he don't know nothing. Yeah, because most town people who own places don't know how to run it. Well, yeah. he just got this place. Remember, they new management now. Oh, that's right. So, Unvi been running this place for forever. So, Unvi decides she's going to walk up over there, right? Because she got offended by what Charlie said. But at the same time, it, it kind of motivated yeah. her to go back to the high yellow. And she came in at the right time because she already got word they was shut down. Well, she came in at the right time and was like, the guy was like, I don't know. I don't know. When I this, don't know the when the, when the, the, the smoke, smoke tank. I don't know. She said, like, I know, I all, know all that stuff. It was done in June, the 15th, man. He was like, how you know that? You know, you lying. He's like, she was like, no, I did it. He said, but I can't find the paperwork. She said, hmm. I don't work, work here anymore, no more. you and know. Turn around and walk on out. He said, please, please, please. She said, well, can you give me my job back with benefits? He said, I don't even do that for my own kids. No, she said, can I be, I want to be yeah, manager, manager with benefits. He said, I don't even do that for my own family. She said, I don't care. She said, you need to take that up with the law. No judgment <laughs> day. Yep. But I she walked on manager. out and she, he said, no, 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 you do it. And she got her job with she benefits. Played. And she walked up to the health inspector. Hey, I'm the new manager. I have all that paperwork in my office. <laughs> Let's go. I said, oh, uh -huh. bye. You played that one cool. Yes. And she came home with her dress on to celebrate. Uh -huh. I said, what you, where you going? I thought she was going out with, uh, with old Hollywood. Yeah, I do too. Hollywood shit, eh? So, Ralph Angel is in his feelings. Because he done went up to that school and the teacher told him, look. You do a good job with Blue and everything, and I know mm -hmm. you love him, but you're not his guardian. So yeah. he's not going to be able to go to this guy doing zoo Unless until on I'm fine. Fine. Sign those papers. I, that hurt me to my heart, too, though. It did. Yeah, but I understand. I mean, he brought it on himself, but... And I'll get to it. Yeah. So now we see Hollywood. He give it up more Ralph Angel, a little line-up, a little fade or whatever, <laughs> and they have a little man talk in the kitchen or whatever. And he's telling her, he said, look, of I ain't gonna date nobody. She she know I got a little crazy in me. He, he said he know uh -huh. that. Yep. That's mine. <laughs> and he said, you know what I did? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm filing for, for divorce. divorce. He said, cause it's time. You know, Vi needs to know that I'm serious about this. Or and that I'm all in. So Ralph was just like, man, you gonna really do that for real though? He was like, yeah. I'm going to, I said, go ahead. I told you. Yeah, he said she worth it. Baby, I'm worth it. It's not fair. Sing it, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So um, we see Kiki. She come on over to Aunt Vaz and she mm -hmm. says she was after school. And she's talking to Michael, whatever. And Michael tells her, look, he was like, the school that I was trying to get into, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to get into it or not. Because I got this little thing. Yeah, that's little that monkey on my back. Following me. He said, well, I got expelled. Well, homegirl that I was with, she uh, had some pictures in her phone, but it wasn't me. They got put out. She said, Kiki said, what she want? And then walked away. <laughs> basically, like, I rest my case. They uh -huh. gonna set your goddamn tail up. Yep. And I said, basically. So we see Michael. Michael said, well, public school ain't had bad numbers. You won't get with Kiki. Mm -hmm. Say so you got some chocolate meat at that school. That's why you want I to said, go. Mm -hmm. I said, mm-hmm. I'm mm -hmm. with um, Michael on this one. Just go ahead and go to the goddamn public school. Yeah, go on to the school. It ain't going to hurt you. Matter of fact, it's going to make you better. Give you a taste of reality for real. And I like Kiki because Kiki gives him a challenge. Like, this is the most swag and the most urban we've seen, Michael. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, I'm here for it. Yeah. And she was like, you know, the Micah that I know or who I thought I knew made decisions for itself. itself. At least I said, Kiki, then don't get don't, that don't boy's teeth. The, yeah, don't push, it don't push his ego up and get his tail fucked. Yeah. <laughs> so then we see Charlie. She ends up back over at the mill because at this, her wheels are turning. Mm -hmm. So she's asking the guy all these questions or whatever because Unvi finally did tell her, say, look, <laughs> The reason you can't really make no deal with none of these meals, because Landry owns on all, all these meals. of them. He got it on lock. And even though some of them have the different last names, they're still his family. Yep. So basically, that sixty forty is what you gonna get. So she goes over to um, what's the guy's name? What what his name was? Was it the Woodrow? Woodrow. And she said, look. Basically, I know that Landry has this on Live 6040 is what are we going to get. So Let's I'm go. willing to bring my cane over to over to this meal. Yeah. He said, let me show you something. And he shows her a map. He said, my family just bought this property right here. Your property is right here. And the first thing I thought about, I said, when those two Spanish folk was killed on that property, it was told that they had crossed over on the land yeah and was murdered i'm gonna go ahead and let that sink in i'm not gonna speak on it because they didn't speak on it yeah but that's what immediately came to my mind when i saw that plaque yeah so then we see that the landry family plan is all, all around, around the, the border lawns. Lawns. I said, Say, what's how, up with this? Yeah, what's going on with that? Charlie knew something was up with it, Yeah, too. she was like, yeah, it's some booze get surfing around in this right, this situation right here. Yeah. We'll get back to it. Ralph Angel, because I want to leave the intense stuff for last. Yeah. Ralph Angel goes to Aunt Vi House. This scene he, messed me up right here, It buddy. messed me up, too, because I can't stand to see a man cry. Ooh. He had to get permission from Aunt Vi for his little boy to go to the zoo. And he eventually broke down. Mm -hmm. He said, how do you think this I, makes me, me feel. feel? He said, I'm not no fly-by-night daddy that comes around Man, on, on Father's, Father's Day. Day. I'm with him I've every been, day, all day. Ever since I got out, I've been here. I've been here. Mm -hmm. And he said, I got to ask permission for well, my, my son, son to go to the zoo. I said, what? So I said, it's Dollar. It's Darla. When you are with her, you change. Yeah. She brings out the worst in you, and everybody sees yeah. it but you. He said, but Vi, I'm here. I haven't and, done anything. Since I've been out, I've been good. It's not like that anymore. And she's doing good. Yeah. I was like, you may not want to vouch for her right now, Ralph Angel, yeah, but I'm you wanna, feeling you But right I understand now. you're trying to build up a case. And then he, he said, said, what about David? She said, what about him? She said, everything that he did, you told Charlie that he has a right to be a father to, to his. To, to Micah. So why don't I have a right to be a yeah. father to mine? Nice. He said, when do I get out? When is my time over? I done did my time. He busts out crying. I said, oh, Flair, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me, Flair. I said, you know what? I've been crying for two days. <laughs> Ralph Angel, you will not. Do this to me tonight. Then and he did. Then all I walked out. And but I, I thought she was walking out like she usually did. Like she did on Dollar. Yeah, because when she don't want to talk about it, or if you back her in a corner, she, she out. walk on out. But she came back, and she signed over them papers. 
I was like, yeah, it's time. I don't agree that it's time. I think it's time. I think that Ralph Angel still, just like Dollar, he, he has his issues and she has her issues, but Ralph Angel has still done some shady stuff since he's been out. He just ain't been caught up yet. And if Unvi didn't cover for him a couple of weeks ago, he would be back in jail. So he's an excellent father, but he still has some things to work out before I would feel comfortable in signing him over. And it's not even like, it's a piece of paper at the end of the day because he has his son. He's basically next door. But for the sake of the show, I like it. But at the end of the day, can I say my piece? You can absolutely say your piece. I say, I say that it's time because I think he had proven himself. Is he perfect? No. Is he going to continue to be perfect? No. no. He going to make mistakes. No parent is. But the powerful thing was when Aunt Vi signed them papers, he said, got to understand that I'm still here. If you need help. If you need help, don't let your ego and your pride get in the way. But like we talk on here all the time, we say we got to let men be men. So that's what she was doing when she signed that paper. You think you ready to be a man? Go be a man. And he looked at her with this big gratitude but, and gave her a hug. But at the end of the day, if he do something stupid, on Vi can still get him back. So it ain't the fact that if he do something stupid, Blue is still not going to be lost from the family because she can snatch him right on back. So his, it's, it's still a good insurance policy. So she's going to let him be a full daddy. Because at the end of the day, she he really wasn't a full daddy. But at the end of the day, if something happens where he gets taken away from Blue, he, he by default goes to Dollar. Yeah. That's the scary thing. Because Dollar has not walked this thing out yet. Neither and then if she do something stupid, I'm going to invite and get her back. But she got to do something stupid. But I understand, stupid. I understand your point, but I, I don't know if you understand my I, point. Oh, I got but we don't want to get stuck right here. Though. We don't want to get stuck. Roll camera. All right. On. <laughs> Hollywood, he wearing um unbuy down. He came over there to the high yellow where she getting this, this shift together, uh -huh. cleaning and everything. And mm -hmm. uh, he said he get ready to go to the rigs. And I said, oh, hell, what you might not want to tell her is that. And yeah. that's what got you broke up in mm -hmm. the first place. Because she automatically probably think you going to see that winch. Uh-huh. But he was like, I'll just come on through this and congratulate you before I come on over there. And she said, um... Mm -hmm. I think I could scramble up um, a cup of coffee. Would you like it? I said, ah. oh yeah, he wanted that cup of coffee. Want no steam coming from it, yeah. but he took it. I don't know where she got it from, but yeah, she she poured him a cup of a cold coffee. All right, so now this is when we about to get real real with it. Chantal, um, she basically at this point she's gonna leave Nova because <laughs> she went through Nova's um drawer mm -hmm. and she saw a picture of a white man. With Calvary. a distinct haircut. Mm -hmm. And she basically was like, oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. Hell no. So Nova said, um, why are you leaving? She said, look, I saw that picture. I know that that's a cop. Basically, I did a lot of research, too. And um, he's a married cop. Mm -hmm. She was basically telling Nova, look, you're supposed to be so conscious, so pro-black. But yet you sleeping with a uh, with a white cop that happens to be married. So Chantal was telling her like basically you're sleeping with the enemy. And right now I don't know who I'm talking to. You seem to be confused and mm -hmm. da 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 da. And Nova's telling her, look, I don't fall in love with people because of their color. I just fall in love with people. I like his look. Look. It yeah. has nothing to do with that. And she was like, but you're sleeping with a man that's a cop in a corrupt system, system. that you're trying to fight against. I said, Chantal said everything that everybody was thinking. But let me go ahead and speak my piece. Y'all ready for it? Raise your hands. <laughs> this is what I... This is where we get conflicted in the black community and the conscious community and all that good stuff is. We have parameters that we give people. That if you don't stay within those parameters, you're not for your own. Yeah, and you're not conscious. And you're not conscious. Until the very moment that Chantal saw that picture of Calvin. She was good. She was good, 100%. Mm -hmm. But the moment she saw that picture... Everything that Nova has accomplished and everything that she's fought for has gone 
boop, boom, out the window. Out the window mm -hmm. because someone is in her life of a different race. Mm -hmm. And that happens a lot in the conscious community, in the pro-black community, whatever you may want to label it, mm -hmm. is that even if you don't have you don't have someone in your family or in your life that's white me for instance i wear weaves all day every day i don't know what else to say <laughs> and people will say that i'm not conscious they will say that i'm not pro-black because i prefer to protect my natural hair so when i'm 50 i'll still have hair because so you're rocking it out yes it's a protective style for me but what happens is we put people in these parameters and it's like not you, not you. You got the yeah. look, you got the look, mm -hmm. not you, not yeah, you. You don't line up, and you not don't line you. Up. But some of these same people will go to bat for the community mm -hmm. or in the community on the ground doing yeah. things that you don't know that they're doing, mm -hmm. fighting the cause. And just because they may have a white uncle like me, yeah. Um, you or friend, white sister in law, yeah, me. They will say that you're not awake. If it comes down to the paint, this right here. Yeah, that comes first. It's all day, every day. Yeah, all day, every day. Yeah. And that's basically what Nova was trying to explain to Chantal was like. I'm doing that, but I'm still conscious. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, still conscious. conscious. Yeah. I'm doing all of that. Matter yeah. of fact, at the end of the day, she kind of let Calvin go because, because it wasn't even the, the, the race thing. It was the corruption. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she had to, she, and she basically had to. Now yeah. on that part, I get it, cause yeah. I didn't never see how she was messing with a cop, yeah. even though he was a good cop. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it, it was that, like a conflict of your fight. Yeah. Now you're trying to take down people, which he was gonna be end up getting taken down too. Yeah. So, so you kind of had that was to. kind of a conflict, but on to defend Calvin, he can't help the profession that he, he chose. Mm -hmm. Which he may have been called to be a cop. Yeah. And to be the good guy amongst a whole bunch of pigs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So So I think a lot of a lot of people is afraid that if we be intertwined with people of other races that when it come down to us fighting we'll dilute home, it. We'll dilute it. And with some people, some I, people do. I think some people can't handle it. Is that, you know, if you have some friends and stuff like that, you don't wanna offend them and which you which you don't. But if I you do. if you can't if you can't handle it, I say don't do it. Don't don't do it. But if you think that when come time to fight for the cause, and we like you tell your friend, it's nothing against you. I know you cool, you good. I know you not a racist. Mm -hmm. I know you for you know our people. But I might say some stuff, but I'm not talking to you. Yeah. But I'm only talking to the people that are that way. That it if yeah. it hits you, yeah, it's you. It's you. And I you know I got like it's a guy on YouTube called Merkabar. And I love it. And he speaks. He's a real conscious brother. And he speaks. And he tell you know, people of, of the white race. He said, when I'm talking, he said, I'm not talking to all of y'all. I'm only talking to who it pertains to. If it doesn't pertain to you, you don't have nothing to worry about. But what I'm here is, I'm here to help my people and to unify all of us. Because I understand that all of us have to come together to fight the cause. Because we're fighting against the elite of this world. That's who we're fighting against, and they want to take all of us out for real, for real. For real. So, I mean, they're targeting black folk, and we need all of us to come together to help us. So, basically, I, and sometimes they're more hard in the paint than we are. You look at them out in the streets now, right in now, in Chicago, New in York. New York, they all fighting the cause. And everybody can't say it's for play, TV, mm -hmm. airtime, or whatever. Yeah, because some people have been doing this forever. Mm -hmm. There are people here in this city forever. Yeah. And we'll be sitting back, we're like, oh, we'll pray for them. No, hit so, the pavement. But we go too hard to paint against them. You don't want to, we don't want to become, to come to ones that what they did to us. And then we end up becoming the same people. You put everybody in a box. Yeah. We say, don't do that to us. But, but we then do, we're we're do, do that, that to everybody, everybody else. else. Yeah. Yeah, be like, oh, it's black people ain't the same, y'all. Yeah. But all oh, white people are the same. Yeah. <laughs> So you can't, can't do, do that. that. Yeah, so. there's some real good white people out there, some good Chinese, some good Indians, whatever. It's good. Now, you know, if you corrupt, you just corrupt. You corrupt. And That's a matter of heart. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, even if some, some black corrupt people out there too, to call you out too. Hello, because there's some of y'all I don't fool with. Yeah. I will tell you that right <laughs> off the bat. If we in a fight, 
I, I'll fight for you, but I'll just get them up off of you. I ain't getting no black eyes for you. I'm just sorry. So, next, um, Charlie comes over to the house and she's talking to everybody. She even had um, Prosper over there. She said, look, I got something to tell y'all and y'all ain't gonna believe this, but I know it's something to it now. And yeah. I didn't know it before. <laughs> she said, look, these Woodrow boys don't offer me uh, four million dollars. Four million dollars. Cash. Freaking no. Uh, Rafa said, yeah, that's what I'm talking, talking about. about. <laughs> I said, Rafa ain't you? I would have said the same thing too, too with that kind of money. <laughs> I'm like, I can buy land anywhere. So I can come up on that money. And I ain't got the farming. Nope. Well, Charlie quickly realized, say, hey, tell me what happened on this land. Mm -hmm. Something happened. Because look at this right here. Yep. All of this is around here. How did the Bordelong family end up with land in the middle of Landry's property? Mm -hmm. And it's prime property. How did that happen? Yeah. And Vi started crying. And Prosper, you know, Prosper already knew. Mm -hmm. Vi said, look. Your father never wanted y'all to know this until y'all needed to know this. No, until y'all asked, about, until you asked, asked about, about it. Until y'all asked about it. Said what happened was our family were sharecroppers. We On worked this land mm -hmm. for Landry's family. Yep. Said eventually his great great grandfather, I think it was great great grandfather, migrated with North. I think North or South. One of them. Yeah. They migrated. Yeah, he migrated. And um he worked very hard, very hard, but he was sending money, money back, back to them. So they and can survive. back and back and back. Said, and I think it was Ralph Angel that said, kind of like what the Spanish people were doing when they were working for us. sharecropping working for on us. this land. Mm -hmm. And, um, woo, I said, this was a scene of all scenes. Yeah. Hey. So he said, um, I said, um, Landry's family fell on hard times during the Great, Great Depression, Depression and they lost this land. Yeah. But at that time, the border loans had enough uh, money to, to buy, buy this land, land yep. from underneath of the um, land. Probably family. pennies on the dollar, too. Yeah, because basically they probably lost it for taxes. Mm -hmm. So, he said after that, the Landry family bounced back and started denying the fact that the border loans the owned part, this property. Yeah, and magically the title and the deed disappeared. Disappeared. Said then. Our family members started being lynched mm -hmm. on this property one by mm -hmm. one over a span of time. Basically, it was the shakedown. Yeah. It was the fear factor. It was the washout. So, then she said, basically, at the end of the day, they slowly killed Ernest. Mm -hmm. Because they made it hard. They made it hard. The, everything he did. The title to showed make it up. Hard. Oh, the title showed up, but every time Ernest made one step forward, they found a way to take him you. 10 steps backwards yep. and said, this is why your father never wanted us to sell, sell this land, land. Yep. because it's been paid for Yep. over and over. Or he found, or he found out what it took to keep this land and or to get this land and yeah. Ernest's father was hung on that land mm -hmm. and was cut down by his sisters and was buried out there. I think she said on the land. I think on the land. I was like, I said, oh, skit. Wow. Ain't that the freaking heritage of our family? Mm -hmm. Ain't that the lineage? I was like, man. So I said, it all come full circle. It makes sense why they want the land back. Yeah. It was originally theirs, and it they don't want no there. slaves on, on their property. Nope. Let me tell y'all a story real quick. We built this house, right? I was getting ready to tell them about this, too. And um, this property wasn't for sale. We had a great realtor. She went through the county, and she actually looked for property that had not been built on. Yeah. She found this land for us. She contacted the owner. And was like, have you ever considered selling this land? They had forgot they even had, had the land. land. They forgot, yeah. So at that time, acres, half of acres of land was going for like thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars at the time. So she said, they said just make them an offer. Now me and Stanley was just being, we really were joking. Yeah, we did a joke offer because we knew that they were going to probably keep on countering countering it up. We said. $15,000. We sit on a half an acre land. 
and well, like I said, half an acre is then we're going for like thirty thousand dollars. So we did fifteen thousand because we were projecting to pay twenty five. Yeah, something like that. Came back and yeah. said, "Deal, okay, deal. deal." We closed on this land, and the realtor came to us, which was a older white lady. Mm -hmm. She had tears in her eyes, and she said, "Because this is law, I have to show you this." Mm -hmm. And I said, what is it? Her name was Nancy. I said, what is it, Miss Nancy? And she said, I'm just so sorry. She said, I don't want y'all to read this, but I have to. Mm -hmm. On this land, it said that no nigger or anyone of African descent shall ever, ever own, own this, this land. I have the original deed mm -hmm. in my possession, and it said it. Yep. And she cried. Mm -hmm. The realtor cried. And she was apologized. I think she apologized to us like a hundred times. She said, I'm so sorry. Do you know when we closed answers? on that land, she got me to pray for her outside in the parking lot. She said, I need you to pray for me. Mm -hmm. She said, just please pray for me. She said, my heart is so heavy right now. And I said, you know what? I said, let us go ahead and touch and agree, honey. Mm -hmm. and Ain't I nothing but a thing. And we came out here and we walked this land and we prayed over this land. And I said, we got you. Yep. But that's it. So at the end of the day, <clears throat> the children realized that basically, like the Bible said, it has been paid and bought with a price. Yep. They went out there and they overlooked that property and said, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it's time to fight. And it's... Yeah. No, no more easy work. Yep. Let's do it. And basically, it was over from there. Yep. I said, God, do it. And it was a powerful message because I took from it. We worked hard to get what we have as a people, and we just can't just just forfeit it because it's hard. Mm -hmm. We got to continue to fight for what's right. ours. We do. We do. And yeah. I want to give y'all this plug. And I don't know because a lot of y'all are all over the world or whatever. And a lot of um, city, like if you're more in the city or whatever, you may not understand the importance of this. But because we're country folk, we've always been taught that if you don't own anything else, find you some land. Mm -hmm. Own you some property. Own you some property because that is an inheritance. Yeah. Property, if you pay the taxes, no one can ever touch it. Nope. And it does not decrease in value. Land does not. Yeah. It might go down and swing down because of the market conditions, but eventually it's going to bounce back. It will always bounce back. So that's what happened with on and the border this is loans. what's happening. Yeah. yeah. They're sitting on an empire. Yeah. So they offered them $4 million for that land. Can you yeah. just imagine how much it's really worth? That's right. Because you know they want not offer them for what it's really worth. That's it. Yeah. But that's it. I hope this wasn't too long for y'all, but yeah, I think that we needed to really to talk, talk about, about some that. things. Yeah. I think somebody had actually said that. I think it was on Twitter or something. Somebody was like, I can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about it. And I was like, is it, was it, it that, was that good? good? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was. So, um, I almost yes. feel like chopping it up and just bringing it to this part. <laughs> I do, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but I might, I might chop it up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. He's not. But, um, straight from the VA, y'all. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Two down. Holla.